Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video, I'll show to you guys different methods how to fix the problems that you may have with the resolution of your displays on Windows 11. The first thing that you have to do is to open the display settings. For that, we just click on the desktop with the right of the mouse and then from the option that you will see here, you click over display settings. And over here, you can change the settings however you want, if those settings are always there. So, so the first thing that you have to do is that to scroll down till you find the resolution. So because we are talking about display resolution on this video and how to fix that. So on this option here, you have different scales or different display resolutions for your displays. In my case, I'm lucky and it's showing all the display resolution that I want to see. You can play around and check which one will be better for your displays. Keep this display settings. If you like it, you just click over keep changes. If you don't like it, you click over revert and it will go back to the display resolution that were in the beginning. So here you have to select the display. So once you select the display, in my case, I'm making them duplicate. But once you select the display, then you scroll down to the display resolution and you change the display resolution. In case that you cannot see those display resolution, then it will start the real problem how we make it possible to see the display resolution that are not listed on the list over here. So the first thing that you have to do is to reset the graphic driver. So how we do that? We just have to press on the keyboard those buttons. So Control, then the Windows sign, and then Shift, and then B. So we just press that one, one or two or three times, and this will reset the graphics of your computer. If this didn't help and you still are not seeing the display resolution that you want, then you have to go over device manager. So what we do, we type here device manager. And once you see the device manager, you click on it in order to open. So we just click over there. And then over here, you have to scroll down till you find the display adapters. And here it is the graphic driver that I have for my display. You may have one or two. You do the same steps that I'm doing in this video for each one of them till you fix the problem. So here it is. What we do, we click with the right of the mouse and then we choose update driver. And then from the options over here, we choose search automatically for the drivers. And then in this case, it's showing that the best drivers for your device are already installed. But again, I want to go deeper and try to reinstall this driver with the best one that it could be fixing the issue that I have. Search for updated drivers on Windows Update. So we click over there and then it will start checking for updates on the Windows Update. Once the update is done, you have to scroll down till you find advanced options. And over here, you have to go over optional updates. Sometimes the driver updates are not installed automatically. So you have to select for optional updates and then you choose the optional updates that you need to install. In this case, it's not the graphics driver, but in my case, it's just this Lenovo firmware. I can download and install it. And then you can go over other updates and check if any of this optional updates is related with the graphics. But again, it will help you to give it a try to install also the optional updates. If this didn't help, again, we go over device manager. We're going to play around a lot on the device manager till we fix this problem. Because we have to make it clear, if it's not a hardware problem, let's say you don't have a problem with a cable or you don't have a problem with a graphic card, then definitely it's going to be a problem with the drivers. So we have to fix that problem by playing around over display adapters drivers. So we go again over display adapters and we click over update drivers and then we choose browse my computer for drivers. And then I click over, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then you'll see those options that you have there. In my case, it's AMD. So I'm going to choose the first one and then I'm going to click over next. So after we have successfully installed the driver from the listed drivers that we saw, we should be able to see the settings for the resolutions. But if we were unlucky and again reinstalling the driver of the graphics didn't fix the problem, then we have to go with the last possibility. What is that last possibility? Again, 
like we said, we have to go through display adapters. What we do, we select again the display adapter and then from the options, we have to uninstall the device. By uninstalling this device or this graphic card, you will have the chance to reinstall the driver by default once you do a restart of the PC. So basically uninstall the device, do a restart of the PC, and then the driver will be reinstalled again, but it will be selected automatically from the operating system by itself and normally it should fix any kind of problem that you may have with this device. So basically that's all that you have to do to fix this kind of problems with a screen resolution or with screens in general. I hope this video was helpful for you to fix these kind of problems and please leave on the comments below which one of these methods worked for you and if there is another method please share it with us. Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. All the best.